Hey guys, uh, it's Kiki and it's Wednesday. Yeah. I look like a mess. Uh, it's been a long day and I'm tired. Um, so yes, we had a question from Mel um, asking about advice or experience or uh, words and things about job discrimination um, for being fat, pretty much. Um, I will say I've, I don't think I've ever run across this personally. Um, I've heard of stories, but I've never really run across it myself. And I think a lot of that has to do with, uh, I've not really applied for many jobs, um, in my history. I, I do actually have a degree, but I don't work in the field that I have a degree in, um, I, I did for a little bit, I will, I will say that. Um, I worked, I have a degree in graphic design. I worked in an in-house department in a hospital as an intern my last six months and then six to ten months after that. Um, and then after that I got a job at a newsletter company that did like apartment newsletters. It was like a little bitty company. And uh, didn't have any problem getting those jobs. And then since then, the only jobs I've had is I worked at a call center. I, I currently work at a call center doing tech support and cat. My cat apparently needs attention right now. Um, yes, I work. I currently work at a call center and tech support. Um, it's the last, the job I have currently and the job I had before this were both the same thing. And uh, getting call center work, unless you're a complete idiot or have really bad history, is pretty damn easy. And, um, I'd worked as a temp for a while, but, yeah. Anyway, um, so I've not really had any problems getting jobs, but I usually don't go for jobs that are too, like, I, I, after, I had gotten really ill after I left the newsletter job, and I didn't look for a job for a while, and I was too scared, I think, to apply for, for, uh, for uh, graphic design jobs, I was, you know, I told myself, uh, my training was out of date and, you know, this and this and that and, and didn't do it. Um, didn't refresh it, didn't do anything about it, just, you know, got simple jobs and never worked uh, at trying to get something, um, I get it, worked at getting, you know, something with my degree or getting something higher than just, you know, basic white collar jobs. Um, Advice, I kind of, I mean, I, I, I do agree a lot with what Lisa and and Sophie have said, mostly just um, being confident and there goes the shoulder kitty. Or just stand there. Are you just going to, thank you. Anyway. Um... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I wish I could give better advice. I really don't know. I'm not that... Uh, I don't have a lot of experience in... I mean, even applying for positions at my own jobs, I usually don't. Um, and that has a lot to do with my uh, my own personal issues with dissociation and stuff because of my PTSD. But um, pretty much, I mean, I agree with what, uh, what Lisa and, and Sophie have said so far. Uh, I think that is really good advice, and I wish I could give you more. This is a shit video. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, Mel, <laughs> that I'm just, I don't have any advice for you other than what has already been said. Um, but I wish you the most of luck, and I think, and I do agree with Sophie said, I think there is a perfect job out there for you, and I think you will find it. And, uh, yes, I will see you guys next week. <laughs> When, I, when hopefully I am more coherent and actually have something to say on the subject. So yes, bye.